So today's an open day in a bunch of Second World War bunkers that were in use in various capacities up to the end of the Cold War. We've got the kids, we're going on a tour. So Bloke Junior, what are we doing? Where are we going? To a castle. The castle? Well, not really, not quite. It's kind of an underground castle though, isn't it? It's a bunker. Is this actually a bunker castle? Mm, not really. And there's where Family Chap used to live. No, it's not. Isn't it? Yeah, that's where I'm pointing it. Yeah, that's why they, that, that is a very suspicious looking barn there. Because it's not a barn, it's an artillery emplacement. Day's getting damper than a seat at a Justin Bieber concert. <laughs> She's a feisty one, is Mrs. The Chav. Here we have a choice. To the left, the official way to the fortress. To the right, the original. What do we reckon? Original or official? Right. Let's get it slow. Yeah, let's get it slow. The bears do indeed go in the woods. <laughs> or a bear's Catholic. I'm not quite sure which. Well, no. Is, is the Pope a bear? Is the Pope a bear. That's the question. <laughs> do they only eat fish on Fridays? <laughs> well, a lot of salmon for grizzlies. I don't know. Looks like a bunker. Daddy. I've never been to this one. More bunkers. Get this roll. Yeah. We are going in there. Oh my gosh. Ah. More evidence of the uniformed redneck. Right, I don't know how well you can see this, but this is the uh, welcome opening, which on the outside looks like this, if the chap can bring the light around, covers the opening to the tunnel. But here's Johnny moment. Here's Chappy. <laughs> So this is a funk niche. So funk it up, kids. Funk, 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 funk it up. Bird flu, where I've been exploring a bit. Oh, Kratikin's not uh, 
not what it was mentioned. land from the other side of Lake Toon, probably land a shell on my house. Yes, looks like they could. So here we are in the toy room. We have an MG11. which is basically the same as a Maxim MG08, but in 7.5 Swiss, with a nice optical sight there. MG25 light machine gun, I see one of these in my future. Ah, uh, bolt's been taken out. Stronger at 57. And this is the uh, MP43, the uh, Swiss version of the Suomi uh, submachine gun with a 50 round coffin magazine underneath it. Mitt bayonet, of course. Random selection of uh, 11s and 89s and 31s and ooh, a 93. Various handguns, helmets, pointy things. So what we've got here is a Sturmgewehr 57 set up for shooting through an old MG11 loophole. So on the back we've got a thing to go over, the, over your shoulder. We've got uh, a set of low-level sights. See if we can aim that through there. This tiny little viewfinder screen is a bit tricky, but hopefully you get the uh, vague idea. Um, yeah, to uh, engage targets like that. And on the end here, there's some uh, funny business to uh, hook onto the outside of the loophole there. I've never seen one like this before. Heads up, chin up. In a line, you call that a line? Disgraceful. I'm just Well, smallest. back in my day that was. I'm just small. Flogging offence. I will go to the side of Esme. Right. Attention. Now, we thank you for your perseverance in uh, <laughs> being dragged around in. holes in the ground and following us into the very heart of darkness. <laughs> Shocky Stangany! Yay!
<laughs> Farewell, children. Bye. Have fun. See you later. Bye. So Mrs. The Chap is going to take the uh, chiddlers back to their place while I we go on. Payment in chocolate. You expect payment in chocolate? Yes. That can be arranged. <laughs> Decent chocolate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, now you're just putting the price up. I mean, at least oh, about a decent sized bar of ovo or something like that. <laughs> Bye. So, right, to the whoring. Yes. Well, infantry bunker. Where is it? Oh, trap punk there. Right, I know where that is. There, and I guess it's across the way. Yeah. Onwards. Right. Look, there's more door. So this is the Kanda. That bridge there was rigged to explode. This one too. Nice bits of uh, old railway line there. Not that you were gonna get your tank up that. But uh, yeah, as an anti-tank ditch, you could do worse than the Kanda, couldn't you? That's rather heavily provided with uh, bunkers and artillery pieces here. was just said by the tour guide, this appears to have been pretty much the most important road in Switzerland <laughs> in the Second World War. Passage obligé. Another highly suspicious looking house. No plumbing in this one. Mm -hmm. The chap here thinks that that obvious barn over there is somewhat suspicious. So that's about all the useful footage we got. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, like our Facebook page, and I hope to see you again on the range sometime. Bye.